Hi, welcome everyone. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to install the new Bootstrap theme and create the sub theme. If you are ready, let's get started. Let's go to a Bootstrap theme project page. Now you may have noticed this page has already been updated. Yep, they have just released a new version 3.1, which taking almost two years since 3.0 was released. It's a good news to all. Now the new version is using new CDN, which now link to the latest version of Bootstrap files. We'll check it out later. So let's install the module first. Scroll down. So this is the new version 3.1 at this time of recording. We'll install this version. If you find any other newer version like 3.2, so on and so forth, the installation should be the same. So let's install it first. Copy the link, back to our Drupal site, Appearance, Install New Theme, paste the link here, click Install. Let's enable the theme, scroll down. Now here is your new theme. Let's enable and set default. Let's go to the front page and have a look. Great. Now it's using the Bootstrap theme. Let's resign the browser and see. Let's click on the left bar button. Now you notice it doesn't work. Why? For Bootstrap theme to work, you need to upgrade your jQuery version. Now the default jQuery version of Drupal is 1.4.4, but it's too low for Bootstrap theme. You need at least 1.9 to work with Bootstrap theme. So we will install the recommended jQuery update module to upgrade our jQuery version. Let's go to our jQuery update module page. Scroll down. Now we will install the jQuery update version 3. It was under recommended release before, though it's still in alpha stage, but so far it works well. So I will install this version, but you can install version 2 if you prefer a stable release. After all, it serves the same purpose. Let's copy this link. Back to our Drupal site. Go to modules. Install new module. Paste the link here. Click install. Let's enable the module. Look for jQuery. Turn this on. Save configuration. Let's go to the configuration page. Let's copy jQuery. Here is the configuration page. You can also access this page by going to configuration, development, jQuery update. All right. I'm using coffee module to navigate around, which is much faster. Now the default version here is 1.10. It's fine. We'll keep that. As you see here. Our Bootstrap theme is now using 2.1 instead of the default setting 1.10 here. But you know well jQuery version 2 doesn't support the old browsers like IE678. Now if you need to cater for at least IE8 users, it's better to use back version 1. So let's change this setting to follow the default setting, whatever we set it over here. Let's configure. Alright, down below here, that's jQuery update. We'll switch it to site default. Save configuration. Now our bootstrap theme will follow whatever we set it over here. Alright, that's 1.10. Now since we are using a 7th theme as our admin theme, let's increase the jQuery to a higher version as well. Let's configure. Now I will increase it to 1.7. Let's save the configuration. Save the configuration here again. Alright. You may want to change this version if you encounter some problems at the back end when working on views or contributed module. It's not uncommon to switch in the jQuery version, whether for front end or back end for some situations. Alright. Now let's go back to the appearance. Settings. There are some new settings added here. You can go through it yourself. Let's go to the Advanced tab. 
scroll down. Now you can use this new CDM provider to link to the latest bootstrap file. If you remember, the last bootstrap theme 3.0 only allowed you to select up to 3.0.2, right? Which is pretty outdated. Now you can select the latest. Now for boots watch theme, you can choose different theme of colors and design for your bootstrap. So if we choose, for example, Cosmo, you will see right away the design here. Let's try other. Cellulean maybe. This one nice. So let's save it and take a look. Scroll down. Save configuration. Go to the front page to have a look. It looks great and beautiful. Let's resize the browser and see. Since we have already installed a jQuery update module, it should be running version 1.10. Yes, it works well. Alright, that's all for now. Let's create the sub theme in the next video.